Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look in the gold market. Today's weekly report uh, mostly is fundamental, uh, not a lot of technical uh, moments stands there. So because on the charts we mostly have, have discussed uh, everything on the last week on Friday. So you know that we have the short term bearish stop in the gold market. But uh, on the fundamental part, it's lots of interesting stuff right now on the gold market, and we have tried to put them in our weekly report. So, particularly speaking, we uh, share with uh, you by our thoughts on the gold market in perspective from the four six years, and we see the big changes, big shifts in the global financial system that should uh, put gold in a fair place that it des that it deserves. So. Uh, because we think that current, currently we see the really uh, big changes in the world financial system that reestablish the cold in its uh, role as the uh, major parameter of the value. Uh, so, and on, on the way to complete this uh, shift, we uh, see big uh, steps and measures that are taken by the different countries and um, and governments, so uh, so preparation to this moment already started. And uh, just as a conclusion, if you do not want to read the report, uh, we think that with the perspective of the four six years, the big rally in the gold market should start, and uh, the value of the gold of the gold uh, should increase significantly by the reasons, by the moments that we see right now in the global financial system. So, uh, meantime, in the shorter term perspective, uh, where it still stands on retracement to after the major weekly target has been hit, and uh, we suggest that um, at least perfect, uh, perfect uh, scenario suggests, uh, ultimate scenario suggests that market should hit the 1260 area approximately. Although we do not exclude the chance that uh, gold could uh, could stop at the bit. Uh, shy targets. So take a look on the daily chart. Uh, and here we have the same OP target uh, that we already have discussed. It's based on this ABC top pattern. COP target has been hit. Reaction on the target. Sell off has started. So it means that market now stands an extension mode to the downside. So we have the extension, contraction, retracement. Now we again stands on extension. There are two targets on the way down. First stands in 1270. This is 127 extension of the butterfly. Uh, also, there's different FIB levels, confidence area stands here. And second target stands at 1260 approximately. 1618 extension stands even lower. It's 1255 that agrees with this 618 support. OP stands just a few bucks higher on this AB city page. That's two targets that market could reach. But on the next week, uh, we will be focused mostly on this target because take a look here, we have the daily oversold. It stands right around 1270. And if market somehow will continue to move lower, and if it indeed will hit this target within the week, this probably will be the floor for a common week. Also, we will keep an eye on how this action will be. So if we will get gradual downward action slow, well, in this case, maybe downward retracement will stop somewhere at 1270. If it will be fast, somewhere on this of this kind and this sort, well, in this case, we will continue think, think, to think that market indeed will hit this area. But currently, anyway, the overall sentiment and context on the market stands bearish. We would not have any setups that could justify the taking long position by far, and our thoughts mostly on the downside targets. Uh, for that purpose, we could keep an eye on the follow time from chart because also here we have inner ABCD pattern to the butterfly. So here, as you can see, we have large ABCD, but also we have inner to butterfly pattern ABC top, and mostly. Uh, it could provide them uh, setups for, for entry. For example, currently, as you can see, we have the minor target COP at 1283. Uh, and we expect that 
maybe when the market will hit it, some pullback here will happen, kind of the A, B, C, D patient maybe will be formed. And that will be the chance to think about the taking the short position. Currently, guys, this market stands not that they were sold. Uh, well, maybe you could try to jump in running train, but personally, I prefer to take the position on the retracements. Uh, when I see the clear patch on my back, then, for example, kind of the guard is cheaper to sell, something that we have traded on the daily chart. So we have drop. Uh, we have the guard is cheaper to sell. And that was the point for taking the short position. Something of that sort I would like to get on the uh, for our time from chart. So once market will hit the 1283 COP, so it will be kind of a support because also market will stand around the previously, previous lows. So uh, any ABC retracement will give us the same guard as cheaper to sell pattern that will give us chance to go short. That's the setup that we will be watching for uh, through the next week. Uh, until market either will complete our bear setup on the daily or if somehow it will form something unrational, for example, if market suddenly would turn up, taking out of this top, climbing back to 1325 top, uh, this will be irrational behavior uh, until these two moments either completion of the setup or breaking the setup, we will keep our bearish view in a short-term perspective. Because, guys, actually, following the logic of the market mechanics, any rally here with the raising of this recent sell-off will be irrational. And it will mean that something is wrong with the bearish action. Because following the market mechanic logic, no significant rally here should happen. Because think by yourself, that was the collapse Meaningful retracement already is done. That was 618 retracement. Market starting the new leg down and getting here some deep retracement again, the raising of this rally looks very irrational. So this should not happen if market indeed the bearish. If this will happen somehow, especially with taking out of this top, it will tell us that market is not as bearish as we thought and maybe something new, some new driving factors have appeared in the market. Uh, so that is two moments that could break overall bearish step, but currently we do not see any signs of that. And we will keep our bearish scenario and we will be watching for this area as a target first and pull back the second that could let us to uh, take the short position.